this is unit number six construction and analysis of fund flow and cash flow statements in this video we are going to see fund flow statement and importance of cash cash and cash flow statements in the previous videos we have already covered what is working capital how to determine working capital what are the sources of funds what are the applications of funds what are the factors affecting funds requirements and how to analyze changes in the working capital let us jump to the present topic that is fund flow statement and a cash flow statement fund flow statement in the previous videos we have seen what is working capital and what are the factors that will affect the changes in working capital so if a working capital is increased we would like to know what factors has caused that increase if a working capital is decreased we would like to know what factors has caused decrease in the working capital we try to integrate the impact of operations reported in the profit and loss account and balance sheet by preparing a statement of changes in financial position it describes the sources from which funds were received and the uses to which the funds were put this statement of changes in financial position usually referred to as fund flow statement or statement of sources and applications of fund simply a statement showing the inflows and outflows of funds is nothing but the fund flow statement this is what is explained here the fund flow statement is usually bifurcated into two logical divisions sources of funds are inflows and uses of funds are applications the division showing sources of funds summarizes all those transactions which had the net effect of increasing the working capital which means inflows increase the working capital it brings some funds with them uses of funds on the other hand deal with all those transactions which had the effect of decreasing the working capital utilization of funds decreases the working capital we will see an example here funds operations operations means here sales revenue uh, what is whenever sale happens revenue is generated so that will generate funds for the business long term debt and debentures this will bring in money into the business issue of share capital new money will be raised sale of sale proceeds of fixed assets when assets are sold money will be coming into the business i am using the term money to understand it as funds though both are not same for the time being for the understanding purpose i am using the word money repayment of long term debt and debentures here money is going out repayment of preference share capital this is where money is going out dividends money is going out acquisition of fixed assets money is going out so wherever funds are coming then working capital will be increased wherever funds are going out working capital will be decreasing so working capital is nothing but current assets minus current liabilities right so there is an example using this example we will understand uh, what are the sources of funds and what are the uses of funds this balance sheet a comparative balance sheet is given here at two different dates this is this one is on december 31 2002 this one is on different december 31 2003 different different items are mentioned here and for each item what is the increase what is the change in the capital right uh, here it is utilization mostly here uh, for most of the items there is an increase plant and equipment at cost see plant and machinery is increasing means new machinery is purchased furniture and fixtures at cost it is increased from 8.6 to 14.5 this means new machinery is bought by the company so this increase uh, tells us that um, company has purchased uh, machinery and uh, funds are being utilized right from this we will see fund flow statement sources of funds different items are given here net income 37.25 million rupees this is the total sales revenue consider it as a total sales revenue profit and sale of furniture remove this profit and we will we will be having the actual funds generated from the sales add depreciation amortization and provisions depreciation and amortization these are all non cash expenses for the purpose of profit and loss account we have to remove this depreciation from the total profits and arrive at the net profit but actually these are non cash expenses so to arrive at actual funds generated from the operations we add it back to the net profit we add it back to the total profits and arrive at total funds generated from the 
business operations. So we are adding back this depreciation amounts to 36.25. Therefore, 48.15 will be the total funds. Other sources of funds, sale of assets. Assets are sold, money will be coming in. Bank loan, so new money will be coming in. Institutional loan, again money will be coming. Total the money that is coming in is 12 rupees. Total uh, with this 48.15, total is 60.15. 60.15 is the inflow into the business, inflow of funds into the business. I'm using the term again, I'm reminding you, money here, I do not mean it as a physical money or cash. I'm just for the purpose of understanding, I'm telling it as money, but actually it is funds coming into the business. Now, utilize users of funds or utilization of funds, payment of dividends, funds are going out, purchase of plant, money is going out, Purchase of furniture, money is going out. Investments, money is going out. Investments in projects, technical assistance fees, money is going out. Increase of working capital, right? Money is going out, right? So total is 60.15. These are all the utilization of funds, which is uh, decreasing in working capital. These are all sources of funds, which is increasing in the working capital. This is about fund flows, sta fund flow statement. Importance of cash flow, cash and cash flow statement. There is no need to emphasize the importance of cash in the day-to-day -day operations of a business. It is very, very, it is a lifeline of any business. The obligations and liabilities of a business arising on day-to-day -day basis must be met through cash or check. We must also be able to distinguish between profit and cash. Entire profit will not be in the form of cash and it is not equal to the cash on hand. One cannot pay creditors, electricity bills, tax or even dividend by net profit for such and many other purposes a business needs either physical cash or balance or credit limits with banks like overdrafts to ensure that the right quantity of cash is available in accordance with the needs of a business it is necessary to make a cash planning by determining the amount of cash entering the business and the cash leaving the business this is uh, for the purpose of uh, what um, this is to the management the statement which explains the changes that takes place in the cash position between two periods is called cash flow statement. Just like fund flow statement, cash flow statement is also nothing but the inflow and outflow of the cash. Cash flow statement is an important tool in the hands of the management for short term planning and coordinating of various operations and projecting the cash flows for the future. A question might be asked here. What is the importance of the cash flow statement? It is important to the management for planning, for coordinating activities and for projecting future cash flows. It presents a complete view about the movement of cash and identifying the sources from which cash can be acquired when needed. This is especially for the management from where, from what sources we can get cash as and when, when it is required. The comparison of actual cash flow statement with the projected cash flow statement helps in understanding the trends of movement of cash and also the reasons for the success or failure of cash planning. Many businesses might be having huge profits, but if they do not have cash on hand for day-to-day -day expenses, it will be utterly failure. It will give a bad impression on the vendors and the customers. Cash flow and fund flow statements are similar to each other in many respects. The main difference, however, lies in the fact that the terms fund and cash import different meaning. Earlier, I, have, I was using the term fund to mean it to cash, but actually there is a uh, big difference between the term fund and cash. For the understanding purpose, I'm using it as cash or money. But actually, fund is a larger term. It's a very big term. Fund could be a sales revenue, uh, could be income from selling of assets, uh, could be depreciation or funds generated from operations. So different, different items are there. All these put together, it is a fund. Whereas cash means cash, the money, the card currency that is called cash. Currency or currency equivalents like uh, cards can also be considered as cash. Okay, the term fund in fund flow statement has a wide meaning. A fund flow statement examines the impact of changes in funds position during the period under review on the working capital of the concern. We have seen already working capital means the difference between current assets and current liabilities. When we are analyzing the difference between current assets and current liabilities, we will understand from what sources the funds are coming in and in where and in which areas the funds are being applied. Cash in the cash flow statement refers only to cash and our balance with the bank that is a small part of the total fund. Cash statement or cash flow statement is a subset of the fund flow statement. The cash flow statement starts with the opening balance 
shows the sources from where additional cash was received okay cash flow statement has an opening balance and a closing balance whereas the fund flow statement there is no opening balance there is no uh, closing balance it simply simply shows the sources of funds and the applications of funds whereas the cash flow statements will arrive at the net cash on hand by taking the opening balance and closing balance into consideration right increase in current assets or decrease in current liabilities this is nothing but working capital increase in working capital current assets minus current liabilities means working capital so when current assets are increasing or the current liabilities are decreasing automatically there will be an increase in working capital whereas decrease in current assets or increase in current liabilities increases the cash flow this means decrease in the working capital which means decrease in current assets means what is happening essentially the current assets are redeemed they are sold off and they are converted into cash therefore cash is increasing in the business so this is about cash flow statement and uh, fund flow statement i hope you understood about uh, very briefly about this uh, two statements questions are expected on importance of cash flow statement and uh, difference between a cash flow statement and a fund flow statement other than that there is nothing much in this topic in the next video we are going to see sources and uses of cash and also how to prepare a cash flow statement stay tuned until then and bye bye